Welcome back to the memes, that's Frank. I'm not the expert in today, playing some franchise mode in 2K5. We tested out the first person football and we dabbled a little bit in the franchise, but I really wanna go in depth here. I wanna do an off season and see what it's all about. Cause people keep telling me this is legit stuff. We already saw a little bit of the weekly preparation. It's not really my thing, but it can be incredibly detailed for those that are interested in that kind of thing. Who should we run with? Whatever the worst team in the game is. I want a team that needs a QB rebuild and it's probably gonna be the Browns. I think that could be a fun rebuild. This video is brought to you by MeUndies. The holidays are almost upon us. And you know what you're not gonna do this year is wait until the last minute to get gifts for your loved ones. I'll make it simple for you too. What you should get them is some top tier undies and loungewear from MeUndies. MeUndies has onesies, loungewear, PJs, and that would be perfect for any season, but it's especially great for those winter months. But if you want something specifically for the holidays, MeUndies does have classic plaid and holiday sweater prints. You really can't go wrong. They are all extremely comfortable. That's because because the undies, loungewear, and sleepwear are all made out of soft, breathable, and stretchy fabrics. Imagine your entire family in matching PJs. Seriously, one can't not have a good time whilst wearing matching PJs. No matter what you decide to end up getting, rest assured that MeUndies has available sizes in extra small all the way through 4XL. But if you still don't know what you want, check out MeUndies holiday gift guide to find something cozy and comfy for you. MeUndies is also kind enough to grant my subscribers 15% off and free shipping for using my custom link in the description below at MeUndies.com slash NTE. Once again, I recommend taking advantage of this special offer right now by using my custom link in the description below at MeUndies.com slash NTE. Thanks again to MeUndies for sponsoring this video. Wait, can I choose my celebrations? I had no idea this was even a thing. That's awesome. Like you can kind of choose your celebrations in Madden where you like after you score, you choose a different direction. Like I want custom individual celebrations for each player. Yeah, let's add the fadeaway. I like that. I really like those celebrations. They're nice. You can create a playbook. I like that. What plays do we want to add here? It all looks good to me. I don't want to go too far into it. Someone's calling me. I can't talk right now. Butch Davis is our head coach. I barely remember who that guy is. So at quarterback, we got, was that Jeff Garcia, Kevin Holcomb, Luke McCown. We're going to need to replace this at some point. Got Lee Suggs at running back. I think that's Wendell Green. I can't remember. It's been so long. It's not like a lot of these Browns teams were super memorable or anything. That guy's 43 over. Overall, poor guy. He even looks upset about his rating. We do have Kellen Winslow at tight end, though. That's going to be fun. Yeah, we absolutely need to find a better quarterback. Running back could use some upgrades as well. I like Lee Suggs more than Green. Wide receivers could use an upgrade. Defense looks decent enough. They look better than our offense, at least. Corners need a lot of work. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot to upgrade on this team. Let's get rid of Jeff Garcia, right? With the Chargers, who are bad in this game, Send us a first round pick for Jeff Garcia. I doubt it. They've declined our trade. I'm not really surprised. They have zero interest in this. They got Philip Rivers and Drew Brees on the roster. Can we take LT off your hands? Yeah, they don't want to do that. If we could get Andre Johnson off that team, that would be amazing. Yeah, they don't want to do it, but we'll see what we can do to get it. See if they would accept this. They've made a counter offer. They want us to offer a second round pick on top of that. Andre Johnson was carrying us in the first video we had, so I definitely want him on my team. My biggest thing with this trade thing is it's hard to tell what the other team needs. So I don't know if this is completely even, but Andre Johnson is a superstar. So we'd be sending our first wide receiver who's 81 overall and an 80 overall linebacker who only has one year left on his contract. Got to do some major rebuilding anyway. So this is going to be our first move and they accepted it. So we got Andre Johnson now. Huge, huge upgrade for us at wide receiver. We're probably going to be drafting a quarterback here soon anyways, so we're trying to get rid of Jeff Garcia, and I think the best we can get is a second round pick. Can we get Drew Brees though? That wouldn't be too bad. 70 pass strength, so they kind of disrespect Drew Brees a little bit, but maybe it's not the move. Look, they have Doug Flutie as a stronger arm than Drew Brees. What is going on? We'll take a second round pick, and they accepted it. So this other trade is going to be us sending the Cowboys a fourth round pick in our starting running back, who's probably going to be our backup on our team, to be honest. We're going to be getting a second round pick. I'm going to accept that all day. So now that gives us three second round picks in this upcoming draft. I think that's a lot to work with here. So we're absolutely punting this first year because we want to see what the draft is like in this game. I've never seen it before. Simulate the season. Let's see how long this takes. Oh my God, we won the first game. The Ravens suck. One eternity later. Oh man, the losses came and they came a plenty. Finish the year two and 14. Start the playoffs. We didn't make it. So who cares? Sports Center. This is SportsCenter. This is so cool.
I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. Bruh. In our first game this week, we had the Chiefs stroll away with this a 14 This is amazing. Win. Imagine how cool this would in be in like an online franchise NFC with your buddies. Rivalry, Man, when you see things like this, you just get like very sad for modern day gaming. Highlights, injury updates, free agency signings. I, I'm speechless at how cool all this is. Better luck next year, Jets and Dolphins. Spoiler alert, it's never been good for them. I like this a lot because this is way more interesting than just like having these up on a screen somewhere. Peyton Manning, that is a young Peyton Manning. Super Bowl, the Colts beat the Eagles 28-3. What a blowout. Oh, we got a couple players retiring. Steve Hyden, I think how you say his name, pretty earlier. But maybe that's a little bit more realistic. Not everybody plays 10, 15 years in the league. But let's try and talk him out of retirement. How about we throw you some cash? He doesn't feel this is a serious offer. We are not interested in talking right now. Wow. While you can front load and back load contracts, it looks like he does not want to come back and play. But if we keep tossing cash at him, maybe he will. His interest meter does not even want to budge. You know what? I don't think he wants to play anymore. And this guy just stinks. I'm not even talking him out of retirement. The thing I do not like about this game is the interface is kind of rough, but some of the details are very nice. So we're past the retirement period. Player contracts, well, we're probably going to let a lot of these dudes walk. Don't really care about it. We're going to replace a lot of them anyway, so we'll just move on. Free agency time, though. Sean Ellis, we had him in our Head Coach 09 series. I don't think I want him in this series, though. The best quarterback we let walk? Don't really want him, though. Doug Peterson, not the greatest running backs on the block here. That's what you get for going in free agency. Oh, we'll definitely just sign some guards right now. See if he accepts that one. We need quarterbacks immediately. This is so far back in the past, I don't remember any of you guys. So we did get one guy to sign. Derek Dees. Dees what? <laughs> Good thing we signed that new corner. He's instantly the fastest guy we got. One of the cheaper ones too, and he's the best one we got as well. We definitely signed some good offensive guards. Don't need to worry about that in this draft, so that's nice to know. Drafting offensive linemen really isn't that fun, to be honest. I want some skill positions. We definitely need a running back and absolutely positively need a quarterback. But we definitely have the first overall pick, so that should be good news for us. NFL Combine time. I don't know anything about the prospects. I don't even know where to begin to look at it. Rookie report. There we go. Yeah, this is nice to know. Maybe I should have checked this earlier. Joel Parker from Boise State ran a 426. So did Rodney Davidson. I don't... When's the last time you saw a white guy playing corner in the NFL? Maybe Troy Apke one time, and that's it. It's amazing to me that they have real faces, though. And Madden has the same goofy looking faces that they've had a million times. But boy, can these guys fly. Hands five. Is that all this says? GPA on here. Wow. Who's the swellest one here? This tight end 36. This tight end is benching more than these defensive tackles and stuff. What a legend. We got a quarterback running a 4.65. He only put five up on the bench press though. He's, he's so weak. Do we want the army quarterback who looks like a thumb? I don't think we do. Two NC State quarterbacks, interesting, and they both have the same face. Better believe I want to draft a running back with just mad speed, but I don't know if I see one on here. Patrick Brooks, probably going to be the guy we're looking at. Oh yeah, Patrick Brooks is the man. Dominique Valdez out of Bowling Green, this wide receiver running a 4-2-6 in the shuttle and 4-2-6. Oh wait, we got guys running the shuttle in 3.8. Might need to change our strategy. Raw physical traits, I don't know what to really do with it. Never played this game before, never drafted before, so kind of just figuring it out as I go. Take a look at Mel Kuyper's mock draft though. He's got the running back going first overall, Drew Duncan out of Indiana. Then he has the quarterback from Southern Miss. It's weird that they would rank this running back higher than this quarterback. I guess he must be amazing. Two running backs going in the top three. Has that ever happened? <laughs> Mel's take on this guy, while not a burner, going first overall, has managed some long gains. That's all you got to say about him. This guy throws fastballs like a star pitcher. Maybe we need to take a look at this guy. But this guy, Roderick Phelps, has the ability to throw any type of pass. That's not a lot to go off of. Oh my, another running back in the top 10. He's quicker than at first glance. Is that all we have to say? Another one. Oh my God, these running backs are just must be nuts. It's like every other team decides, you know what, we'll take a running back in the first round because that's always turned out very well for everyone who's done that. If the running back class is deep enough to where 10 guys are going in the first round, I think we'll be okay and get some guy in the second. That means we need to take a look at the Mississippi State guy. We need to take a look at the Southern Miss guy as well. But apparently this guy has a rocket arm, so that's probably the guy I'm going to want to lean to. We'll call him Sal for sure. It looks like Roderick Phelps is the most athletic of the three guys. Ian Kennedy was the third one, by the way, from Wake Forest. Roderick Phelps is five 10 so not ideal size salvatore bass six foot but i don't know how much that really matters to me if you've got a cannon for an arm that's good 
This is going to be a wild draft if there's this many good running backs. So what do we do at the NFL Combine here? I mean, we see their like 40-yard dash, right? Definitely want to take a look at the quarterbacks. How many hours would you like to spend scouting this player? Well, we need to look at all three of those quarterbacks because they're all projected to go top five. And that's pretty much all we have to work with at this current moment. This is what the big board says. All right, he's got Drew Duncan at number two and has the quarterbacks all the way down at 16, 17, and 18. Interesting, but we definitely need a quarterback. So why did the mock draft have so many running backs going? We have a kicker in the top 19. What the? We have two of them. This big board is wild. Either these quarterbacks are terrible or there is just no respect being shown. I need the full report on Bass. All right, six hours left. Take a look at Ian Kennedy. You mean in-depth report? We got four hours left. Roderick Phelps, that's the other guy I want to look at. This is only day one of four, so I think this is okay if we do this, right? You're about to scout all the players you've assigned. Scouting hours two in advance to the next day. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. What do we got on uh, Ian Kennedy? He has excellent arm strength, has ability to throw any type of pass, so good accuracy. Reads coverage average. So we have an exact passing strength for Salvatore Bass. 94 is passing accuracy 84 play recognition is a 68 i believe speed is 30 oh my lord that is terrible but he can throw and fire strikes at any point on the field phelps has a good arm but not great good accuracy and can read coverage well that's not really what i'm looking for since we're going to be controlling it i mean i'd be ready to draft bass first overall right as it is but i need to know more about isaac scouting a bunch more players getting some corners on here in this combine scouting it's a little different than i'm used to but i do like the idea here of limited time for certain guys and scouting it this way Oh, Drew Duncan only has 78 speed. Yeah, there's no way I'd be drafting this guy first overall. He does have 77 catching, which is excellent for a running back, but come on now. I'm not a bad man. Ooh, okay. So yeah, Isaac Kennedy's not a bad quarterback. 93 throw power, 80 accuracy. His speed is 26 though. Many wonder if he's starting material. We're probably going to be drafting Bass first overall. Oh, Sal's going to be coming to town. I really can't even fathom his jumping ability being seven. Many wonder if he's starting material. Well, he's going to be starting for the Browns day one. Has the speed to stick with NFL receivers, will hit and support the run. A true shutdown corner. Now that is what you want to hear. So these guys are probably faster than Delgado, but if he's a true shutdown corner, that is exactly what you want. Oh, a lot of disappointment in terms of these running backs, man. Maybe we'll have to jump deeper into it and find somebody else because they're not jumping off the page at me right now. I'll say that. Surely one of these wide receivers is good excellent speed you love to see that i do like this a lot I, I like figuring it out as you go and you can spin more if you want to know more first you just got general descriptions that you kind of have to guess at and you can kind of make a certain opinion but you only get certain things revealed but unlike madden this is more tailored to things that are specifically important for the position i would love to get just an elite receiver though because we have three second round picks maybe we can get two i've scouted quite a bit so i'm even curious to see what we're gonna get combine has completed so we know which quarterback we want we definitely want bass clearly the better player both of them pocket passers but bass is far and away better running backs duncan is the one we know most about everyone else I have a lot of question marks, okay? And some of these we haven't scouted really far in. We'll just have to take what we can. We're going to be drafting that probably last. Just whoever's left, honestly. Some of the receivers did seem exciting, though. If we look at it, uh, this is the one of the guys we actually know a lot about. 94 speed, 84 route running, 67 catching. And then the guy below him, oh, this guy's amazing. 93 route running, better catching. Yeah, Erickson is the move at wide receiver, but that probably means he's going earlier. And we barely have any of the inside linebackers scouted. Whoopsie. Now it's time for the NFL draft. We probably didn't spread out our points efficiently across everybody, but at least we know who we're drafting first overall. That's always a good start. Da -da 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 -da. There should be music here, but there's not. Got to be drafting the quarterback. We got three and a half minutes to choose. First on the board, of course. Scouted, yes. Let's, uh, let's go by the scouted guys first. And we already talked about this in our scouting reports. It's interesting that we don't have it available right here, right? But uh, Bass is the guy I want. He has the 94 throw power, so... Oh, suggested picks. Yeah, we want to go Bass here. Wait, we got our team needs over here. Ooh, okay, so we jumped to different computers. Oh, there's his combine and everything. Now, there's no way you'd go Duncan here. It just doesn't make sense. If you're going to draft a guy up here, it better be Saquon Barkley. Yes, it better be generational talent. And even then, I mean, Saquon Barkley, sadly, has been hurt a lot, but that's a different story. We're drafting Bass. First overall, and then boom, already to the second round. All right, who's available? It's probably nobody I want at this point, so, uh, <laughs> sadly. Oh, wait, we do have some guys scouted. Oh, my God, Erickson is here. 
Oh, I'm ecstatic. How about the corners? Delgado, a true shutdown corner. Probably a complete corner here in Alton Delgado. He is a little bit short at 5'9". Does not bother me. But I think I got to take Erickson first, just because that's way more fun. <laughs> Even though there's more options and more guys we have scouted, he just seems too fun, man. We got to take that. Lance Erickson from Florida State. Come on down to the Browns. And then we're choosing right here pretty soon after it. So maybe we can get Delgado as well. Yes, we can, man. And you better believe we're going to do that. Elton Delgado. We got another pick here in the second round. We don't have any running backs left scouted. Why is everybody jumping at the running back so much? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just figure that out later, or maybe we'll just throw the ball a million times. All right, so we already drafted a quarterback. We drafted a wide receiver, and we drafted a corner. Maybe we should look at an inside linebacker. The only one that I have any positive notes on is A. Mason. You have to question his instinct. That is not a good one but he is an aware player in zone coverage and can be an explosive hitter. Uh, it might be a little bit early to do that, um, but we do know a lot about these other guys. This guy is quoted as being a fine cover corner. I would rather take Bush if I was going to take another corner, but I don't think we have to. So if we look at our team now, Bass is 75 overall. Uh, Suggs might have to be our running back this year. We'll draft another one late, late in this draft. Erickson is 60 overall, but I'm not mad. All right, he can develop into a star. Delgado, 74 overall, 88 speed. I think he'll be very good. Maybe it's a reach here, but I think we probably need to spread it around the other positions, and we could probably get another wide receiver later just to add some extra depth, and honestly, it's one of the only positions we have left scouted. So let's go ahead and take Anthony Morales. Wait, is that the guy I want? Nope, that's not the guy I wanted. De almost made a huge mistake. Alan Mason, that's the guy I want. 62 overall, I'm not really surprised. He didn't have glowing reviews, 68 coverage. It could be worse. It, clearly we needed that depth there. Things I would rather have, good route running over good catching, right? This guy would fit nicely as a possession receiver though. And we already know Moore's speed and route running. It's a little bit lower than the other guy, so he's already gonna be lower of an overall. I think I'm gonna take Patrick here. I think that he has higher glowing remarks on paper. Let's do that. Anthony Patrick drafting another receiver here just because it's one of the only positions we had scouted. Not ideal, right? But this was my first time running through this. So Patrick is 54 overall. He's got 70 catching, so not much higher. Rod running 67. Sheesh. Round five here. There's literally no running backs left. Let's just take a random shot in the dark. Douglas Carson. No idea anything about you, son. Just drafting based on your production. Douglas Carson, actually not much worse than the other guy we had. 88 tackling because he had like 400 tackles in college. He's got a better coverage grade. So interestingly, he might get more playing time. All right, centers. Who's got the best pancakes? I saw 152, 164. He allowed 25 sacks, so that's not what you want to see. The best combination, all right? Maybe Alan Green is the best combination. 18 sacks allowed, 152 pancakes in college, 32 on the bench press. Bull send it. Hey, 69 overall. He'll add some depth. We got to take a fullback, of course. Am I seeing this correctly? 5,000 yards from a fullback? This guy is 6,000 yards. Bench press 32. Winston Foster out of Georgia Tech. You better believe we're taking you. Rookie signing period. All right, I'm interested to see that fullback. 73 overall. What a steal. That was an interesting draft. I was kind of confused for a lot of it, but I think if I had a second chance at it and you learn what the AI does, like drafting all those running backs in the first round... Maybe you'll draft a running back. I don't know. All right, time to negotiate the contract for big old Sal. Just give him what he wants. He's our franchise guy. He accepted. All right. I didn't see that Erickson had 56 stamina, though. That's kind of booty cheeks. So when he's on the field, he's going to be electric, but he's he's barely going to be on the field. Hey, we're not projected to be last now because we got a new quarterback, some new guys on the team. That's good news. Wait a minute. Is Bass's arm strength much worse than we expected? It says 68 right here. Overall 44. What happened? Is he hurt or did we get misled? Is it like a, a thing where his overall was revealed for him to be actually terrible? What about our receivers then? Oh, so Erickson actually has 99 speed. Interesting. Patrick, 94. Wow, okay. Well, Andre Johnson's still going to be our number one for obvious reasons. Man, this is a kind of confusing. I guess, yeah, you can definitely get baited out and realize that you guys are not good, but interesting to see it all play out this way. Carson looks better than we first anticipated as well. Run coverage, 69. Pass coverage, 79. Tackle, 92. Please tell me Delgado's good. 82 coverage, 89 speed. So not as fast as we first anticipated, but I still think you got to have him up there, right? Jefferson's much better than we anticipated. Good free agent signing for us. Jeez, if Bass is actually a 44 overall, I'm going to be sad. 68 arm strength. How do you confuse 94 arm strength for 68 arm strength? Oh, that explains a lot. So Bass has a strained elbow ligament. So he's actually not that bad. 
That makes a little bit more sense. So we actually can't start them to start out, which stinks. Three weeks. So I'm going to simulate until we can actually play because, you know, I drafted him. I want to play with my franchise guy. Okay, so Bass is finally back. Yeah, he's got 95 arm strength. Okay, so it goes up and down based on like their injury report, based on like uh, how fresh they are that week. Leadership 58. I'm not sure how all of this factors in everything, but it is intriguing to see that guys could have that trade on them because some guys are great like prospects, like they have a cannon for an arm and things like that. But if they're a terrible leader, then they're probably not going to succeed in the NFL. Finally, it's time for us to play a game. Our offense is 58. Jeez. Hey. I'm Chris Berman. Howdy, Chris Coming Berman. Up on ESPN, it's week four of the NFL, and if your back is sore from raking leaves or cleaning out the gutters, we've got something much better than a heating pad. Football. Lots of good, hard football here on ESPN. I love football, yeah! I think uh, our offense is probably just nuked from injuries, because there's no way it's at 58. Surely we were better than that, but who knows? There's Bass himself. See, Mason, I'm going to controlling one of the rookies. I forget where he went to college. You know, some of these guys I didn't scout too heavily. They just ended up on our roster somehow. Boom. Hey, we sacked him. I don't know who it was, but number 99. Way to go, buddy. Oh, nice. What a pass deflection from the rookie, Alan Mason. Oh, he's there again. Alan Mason all over the field. We drafted him for his pass coverage, and he's performing that ability perfectly. But he just got injured. Send out the trainer. Damn it. So they're going to try the field goal. I'm going to send our rookie Delgado back there. He hit max power. He's probably going to sink it. No, it's wide right. And Cleveland's going wild. There's our boy. I have no idea who's our starting running back right now. Neither does anybody in the stadium. Oh, but he's making plays. He's slinging it. Erickson, rookie to rookie there. Bast Erickson. We're going to go for it here on fourth. Oh, I'm getting sacked. We made a mistake. You better believe we're crazy, though. We're, we would go for it all the time. And he's running it. Hit him low. Oh, he threw it up. Intercepted. Straight to the linebacker. Don't know what he was thinking. Sling it. Andre Johnson over the middle. I see you. Throwing the dart. Andre Johnson again. He just gets open, man. Oh, intercepted. Andre Johnson didn't go up for the ball. Let's say Andre should have got that one. I'm going to not step in next time because I don't fully know the controls for this game. Woo! We are jumping in that football. That's the free agent signing Jefferson on the attack. Oh, Jefferson's injured too. I hate it here. Almost scored in there. That was dangerous. Then we sack him. That's huge. Let's go, defense. Keep the pressure on. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're sacking him again. Oh, he almost missed that. Finally, somebody scored in this game, though. 3 nothing Bengals. All right, this one's going to Andre Johnson, probably. Single coverage. You better believe it. Got to get it to him. Boom. He is gone. No one's going to catch him. Andre Johnson. There's a reason we traded for him. This man is an absolute beast. Look at him celebrating with the fans, tossing the football to him. Ooh, ripping it. Sal Baskin spinning with the best of them. Look at that arm strength, zipping it in there. Oh, what a play from the D lineman. Swatting it down in his face. Hell yeah. Wide open. Who else? Andre Johnson. No matter where we put him, this guy is open. Look at we get the highlight on him. He's just dominating this game. Oh, wrong button. I forget. Using a different controller. The buttons are not the same from PlayStation and Xbox and everything. Oh, look at that animation. Got to go up and get that football. And oh, Andre Johnson almost did it. I do like the recap of everything. I don't think we're going to watch it all here just because, you know, it's, it gets old kind of quickly to me because sometimes I just want to get back to the action. I want to play a video game, but it's uh, nice to know that it's there. 
Oh, we had him open, but I'm getting sacked. Didn't have to, a clean pocket. Trying to go with the double move to the rookie over there, Erickson. I think he has good route running, but his hands are not that great. Oh, he actually got past him. Fourth and one, though. Now right, we're going to go for this. Just need one yard. I don't care if we're in our own territory. You know I'm a madman, and it's a video game, so. I don't. He didn't get it. Boo. Boo you, fans. Boo you. We have feelings, and we're trying, damn it. All right, that should have been a free pick, but that one you can boo. Oh, no, he got to the outside. Touchdown, Cincinnati. They finally scored. It all it took was a dumb fourth down decision for us. And they're wildly celebrating over there. Oh, he just underhanded the, the drag route. Just a little pitch forward. Sling it. Oh, Andre Johnson. You can't leave him alone out there. Five receptions for 156 yards. I don't trust it. No, oh, had to get rid of it. Oh, he doesn't have any speed. He's literally 30 speed. So we got a fourth and 20 after a back-to-back sex. All right, give me some time to throw. At least to the first down marker. Oh, off of his back foot, but he threw it early. Nobody there to help him. Incomplete. Probably should have punted it, but we don't punt around here. Oh, what? Did you see the safety just run away from it for no reason at all? What was that? You're telling me that's not scripted? Come on. Maybe not from this angle, but you see the safety just way over there. What? I didn't even switch to him. Looks like cover four. We're full sending that. Andre Johnson. Oh, out of character. Off of his hand. We're doing it again. Shut up. Do you realize we have Andre Johnson? Oh, we're getting sacked. He was so open. They sit the house. Okay, now he can boo. But I mean, I should have got it out quicker. I was trying to let him run through his uh, his steps, but who cares about steps? You got to get rid of the ball when you're about to die. This will turn into one of the greatest comebacks of all time. Just watch, though. Fourth down, so we got the stop. We can still win this game, <laughs> even though we've had so many mistakes. Just start running streaks with Andre Johnson. Just you watch. This doesn't change anything. We still need two touchdowns. Plenty of time. Oh, I see you. Kellen Winslow right in my face. Here we go again. Ah, uh, run. I wish I had a quarterback without 30 speed. Come on. That's the cash. That's what we need. We're back in business. Back against our own goal line. Get there, Andre. Not even close. Fourth down. Whoa, that's got to be pass interference. He was all over him. Where's the flag? Are they booing me or booing the refs? Hopefully the refs. Well, it would take an absolute miracle to come back and win this game. And they ran the ball again. Another timeout. He missed it. We've still got a chance. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I'm waiting for him to get open. Come on, guys. Can we watch the edge, please? I had to throw off my back foot. And that's picked off. That's probably game now. Looking like Pat Mahomes on that wild throw. And maybe even the interception, I guess, at this point in his career. But uh, this is not a game I've played a lot of, so that's why I'm terrible. Of course, I'm bad at a lot of games, but still really fun to draft all these guys and see what they can do. <laughs> just one guy in the stadium alone, just sad. We're 0-3. Chris Berman, what do you have to say? Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman, here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. What the is there Bengals to say? We suck. For sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. I've seen enough. So Bass finished with a 48 QB rating, 9 of 25, 36%, 221 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Yeah, it's just, I'm not good at this game. I haven't played it enough to get the feel of it. It's significantly different than other football games I've played, but still pretty fun. Of course, Andre Johnson's a legend. Six catches, 187 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Erickson could get going, and um, Kellen Winslow had like three drops. 
But that's pretty much all I got for this video. I had a lot of fun making this. If you really want to see some more 2K5, I, I'm not sure what else I could show you. And I really don't know how I would feel about a long series in this just because, I don't know, it, it, it is a fun game and there's a lot of amazing things about it. But I still think like a lot of the interfaces in this game are just significantly outdated and just kind of kind of gross to look at, to be honest. But of course, there's a lot to love about this game. I'm not sure why a lot of these features didn't remain in football games in the future. Hopefully a lot of them can come back. But if you want to see some more 2K5, get this video to about 20,000 likes, and I'll consider making another one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. It's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like me. If you already subscribed, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters Tristan Stagner, Anthony Uhas, Jack Webb, Cameron Tipton, Zach Harper, Jacob Jordan, Timbo Slice, Richard Pizer, Nitro Drive, and Jason Huerta.